Brandon Lewis with you here at the Tennis Courts on KFJB-TV. It's our Cat Connection, an extended version, as we're now joined by James Christensen. He is the head coach for the boys' tennis squad in action this afternoon on a breezy day. The the, the weather, maybe not so great at times this spring, but it, it's been pretty good. Yesterday, you had your, your matches uh, rained out, and, of course, you're going to take on a tumble in Lincoln today. When you when you get the guys ready for a, a match like this and conditions like this where, you know, wind guests may happen, what, what do you kind of tell them? Uh, well, the, first of all, it's a, it's a mindset. Whoever's able to kind of forget about the weather first between the, the two opponents usually has a bit of an advantage. Uh, you know, not letting uh, letting that be an excuse ever is definitely something that we, we harp on. Uh, we try and practice in as much bad weather as we can, as long as it's safe out, just to prepare like for today's like today. So you tell the team, uh, storm's moving in, let's get to the courts. <laughs> <laughs> pretty pretty much. You know, there's, there's times where we would definitely maybe get a little bit more uh, fundamental work in inside, but uh, being able to play in conditions like this in Iowa uh, is definitely uh, something you need to be able to do. Yeah, that that would I would think pay dividends. You know, if you're able to move on to the higher levels, or you've got perfect conditions, being able to to, to play in all those conditions it ha has to mean a lot. It probably makes a tougher athlete too at the end of the day. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the the, the tougher athlete is going to win uh, on a day like today. People with better footwork, uh, smarter strategy. Uh, you know, our guys aren't going to be going for a lot of uh, uh, corners and lines or, uh, you know, maybe not serving at 100 percent. It's just playing smart and playing within ourselves and uh, not making the mistakes today. Overall, 4-4 four and four coming into these matches here on the season. But, boy, you've you've really played some tough competition. Waukee Northwest, Pleasant Valley recently. Um, what do you make of the team's performance so far at this point? I was super pleased with it. You know, we, we, we had a little bit of a letdown early in the year against Ames. Uh, you know, our guys have uh, have stated multiple times that we, we want to <laughs> get after them again later this season if possible. Um, but our, our performances against, you know, the number one, number three, number five teams in the state have been have been good. Uh, haven't had a lot of match wins, but uh, everything's been really competitive. And that's going to pay off for us down the road when we're uh, uh, playing tough teams in postseason, district play, et cetera. So it's one through six, right, for your, your your match day. How do you kind of pick who's going against who, and is it is it a little bit of a, a matchup game for you? Uh, so we we kind of have uh, challenge matches throughout the uh, the preseason to determine you know what our lineup looks like. Uh, in tennis, you don't really switch your lineup too much just to match up with certain guys uh, against other teams. But uh, yeah, it just definitely depends on uh, the day when it comes to like our doubles matchups. Who's going to play with who or uh, where everybody's going to slot in, but uh, you know our, our our depth is definitely something that's been a big strength for us this year. Uh, from one down to you know 16, 17, 18 guys, uh, we've got a ton of people that can uh, step into that varsity role, and uh, it's definitely a strength for us. I saw, yeah, you mentioned the just the depth piece. I saw you know Adam Boone has has gotten some starts there in the the sixth spot, and and he's registered quite a few wins. So what do you make uh, of his performance and some some other guys that have, have kind of stood out this year? Yeah, Adam Boone has been a, a an awesome surprise for us. You know, we've had pretty much everybody's bumped up, you know, an average of four or five spots from where they were last year. Uh, so, you know, Adam was a, a great JV performer for us and just to slot right in there at a uh, varsity singles and get wins against uh, Valley and Ames and uh, also in the way that he did it, you know, playing clutch matches, winning super tiebreakers. Uh, that's a huge thing. But, uh, you know, all those guys that have bumped up from JV last year are, are definitely um, showing what they can do and you know they've waited for their opportunity we've had some really great teams over the last couple of years and uh, you know and guys like Jason Strand Gavin Jablonski now Christensen when they graduate um, you know to have those guys waiting in the wings is, is awesome you know, guys like Jacob Kristen uh, have jumped right in at the five single spot as well Will Swartz Kyle Smith Isaac Benz or Isaac uh, Seberger and uh, uh, Taven Dutton you know kind of filling out our doubles lineup you know all those guys were all JV last year and uh, having them jump into varsity spots right away is, is awesome on the double side, how, how's that been for you this year? Uh, really excellent. You know, Ike and uh, Isaac Ben Scooter and Jacob Thiessen starting off at, at number one doubles. I've played some incredible matches. Uh, they got to play the, the state champions and the state runners up uh, this Saturday and uh, had some good performances, got games off of the champions and uh, nearly uh, nearly got a set off the runners up. So that was pretty encouraging for them. And I, I think they're going to be pretty tough uh, coming on this year. Uh, you know, our two, three, four and five have, have hung with everybody this year. Um, and they're they're gonna 
Uh, need to still clean up a few things uh, moving forward uh, to get uh, over that hump and, and get some more victories, but they, we've been pretty pleased with their performance. We're going to talk to Isaac Benscooter coming up in just a moment, but uh, what, what's really stood out to you in your mind this season and being in that, that one spot and, and probably a team leader too? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's all about mindset for him. You know, he, when, when he came into the year, uh, we've had people, um, you know, around the state, you know, they get into that one spot and people tend to shy away from that moment. And that's never been uh, something that Isaac's done. You know, he's looking forward to playing uh, these guys. And, you know, I, I don't know his record right now. I don't really care. Uh, I just know that he shows up every single day uh, ready to get after it, sets the tone for our team. Uh, plays incredibly hard, gets wins when he should, uh, competes uh, against guys that probably are better than him on a daily basis, uh, and you know dominates and doubles for us. And uh, couldn't ask for a better leader. And uh, can't wait to see what he's able to do the rest of the year. Yeah, and the rest of the season, April 30th, going to be the end of it. You've got a lot of matches right here at your home court, so that's going to be nice, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we started off with a few a uh, few road meets, but uh, finishing up the season uh, with a ton at home is is great. You know, we are. Uh, blessed with probably the best facility in the state outdoors and uh, we love to show it off and love to have fans come out and watch so uh, uh, definitely a, a nice thing for us to finish the season here. Well thanks for the time today coach and good luck. Thank you. Isaac Ben Scooter now joining us on our Cat Connection here on KFJB TV. We we're just talking to Coach James Christensen, and he mentioned mindset. And you guys getting ready to take on Lincoln in a somewhat today. Boy, with the wind, your mindset's got to be pretty strong, right? Going into a, a day where you might not know what the weather's going to do. I think it helps a lot of teams when they face tough weather like this. They'll go inside for practice, but we're outside almost every day, so I think that helps. I think we're a little bit more prepared than them when we get weather like this, so I think we're pretty confident. Yeah, that's good. And, of course, uh, you mentioned uh, the weather challenges, but your season schedule has uh, has been really tough. Some good opponents, Waukee Northwest, Pleasant Valley, uh, as of recent. How, how much do you think that really helps you at the back end of your season here in conference and then going into conference play? That probably gets you pretty tuned up, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I think definitely playing those tougher opponents gets us more ready for the postseason. I think especially playing one, there's a lot of teams – that'll have a really good guy playing one and then it kind of drops off. So I've been facing some really good competition, I think, and I think that's been good for me. I think I've really been improving on my backhands and stuff like that, just being able to rally with a lot of guys that are of higher skill level than I am. Yeah. You know, I know you play singles and then also on the on the doubles. And so tell me a little bit about the, the difference in mindset when, you know, you're out there worrying just about yourself. Now you got the doubles and you're working with the teammate. I think the confidence is much higher in doubles because you've got a teammate out there, you know, in singles sometimes if you get down it's kind of hard to get back up, but in doubles you've got your teammate out there with you, they can hype you up, that sort of thing, and also just, just knowing that if, if a ball goes behind me, JT is going to be there to get it, so I think it's just that confidence of knowing I, I can hit that tough shot in doubles and not worry about whether or not they're going to hit it past me or not. Yeah, you mentioned Jacob Thiessen. I know he's uh, he, he's he's all about the the ball sports. He golf and tennis. So, what, what really stands out to him is in his ability to 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 be a good tennis player as well. Um, JT's just super athletic naturally. Um, he's one where he does all these sports, and in the off season, he kind of just switches to the next sport. Doesn't really play the last sport much, and then he comes back after not playing for eight months, and he's just as good as he was when he left. So, I mean, he, he's just super athletic. Um, perfect form basically just a super talented guy and it's it's a lot of fun playing with him yeah we saw that on the basketball court as well we, we he dipped his toes into that so that was fun to see uh what's it like to play on this facility this surface here at marshalltown high school it seems to be one of the best around the state oh yeah for sure we definitely have the nicest courts in the state um it's really nice knowing that our old courts were kind of rough you know there are some courts that even they just didn't play on during meets so it's really nice. We're super blessed to be able to play on courts like these. Really makes the meet a lot more fun. You know, at the at the higher levels, they play on grass, maybe some clay courts. Uh, have you ever played on those kind of facilities? Never grass. I've I've played on clay once in eighth grade. Um, it's a different feel. The ball bounces a lot higher. I will say, you know, you can play for two or three hours, and your legs, your feet don't hurt like they do after playing some tough tennis for three hours on a hard court. So. That's kind of fun. Um, I did that down in Des Moines. They've got a couple clay courts down there, so that's a lot of fun just being able to try out different things. Yeah. Well, best of luck the rest of the season. What other activities are you involved in during the year? I do cross country as my only other sport in the fall. That's a lot of fun. I'm, I'm, I'm not super serious about it. Do it more for the fun, just for the activity. 
But yeah, that's something I'm always looking forward to. Well, hey, best of luck the rest of the season. Thanks for the time. All righty, thank you. All right, that's Isaac Spence Scooter with the Marshalltown Bobcat Boys Tennis Program right here on KFJB-TV.